For our first movie, James gets to pick between Blood Creek, Channel 13, and Cub. Which will he choose? Pick one, buddy. That was fast. Okay, I guess we're watching guess Cub. So. <laughs> he was pretty, pretty determined about that. Either that or he just wants to get to his raisins. I don't know. He didn't even look. No. Here you go. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 31 Days of Horror 2020. It's going to be an interesting year. We have no Toronto After Dark Film Festival to rely on. James is older, so we kind of can't have him watching with us now. Luckily tonight he fell asleep. And yet this film he probably we probably could have made made it through without having to worry about him. And that was his choice, Cub, or in its native langu language, Whelp. <laughs> yes, this is a Belgian, Danish, what did I say, Dutch production? Um, with languages including Flemish, French and Dutch in the film, and a little bit of English if you want to say so. Uh, film is essentially about a group of boy scouts, I guess cubs, um, who go on a camping trip and, um, well, they run, in, run into this guy on the cover here. <laughs> and traps and all sorts of stuff in the woods. Um, the film was... Oh, when did it was when was it released? Two thousand fourteen. Oh wow. Two thousand fourteen. I've been wanting to watch it for quite a while now. Um, I didn't know it existed. Cause <laughs> why would I? <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to you in a second, buddy. I just need it right now. It runs about an hour and a half long. Um, the film is written by Roel Mondelares and Jonas Govertz. Jonas Govertz also directed it. And I looked them up, and honestly, they they haven't done anything I recognize. I mean, they've done a few things, but I haven't really recognized anything. But the director is, or was, in recently in 2019 in a movie called Yummy, um, which has the tagline, Facelifts, Boob Jobs, and Zombies. So I'm kind of interested in that one. <laughs> But other than that, I got nothing from him. Um, the main character is named Sam. He's one of the Cub Scouts. Um, he was played by Maurice. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally butcher all these names. Maurice Luichen. Um and then there's the three leaders: two males, one female. A female named Jasmine, played by Evelyn Bosman. And then Chris, played by Titus DeVault. And Peter, played by Steph Arts. And I hope my co-workers are not watching right now, because they probably are laughing their heads off at my pronunciation. Um, but yeah, and then there's a whole bunch of Cub Scouts and other people in the film. But again, I looked them all up, and I didn't recognize... A, a lot of them have never done anything since. And those that have, um, or previously... Uh, I didn't recognize anything, which is not uncommon because my knowledge of Belgian and Dutch films and French films and is 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 very small. Um, but uh, yeah, what what do you think, Leslie? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do our thing where we're like, okay, we're gonna watch this, and then what do you think about it? What do you think? And so I'm like, okay, <laughs> right when it's starting, I was like, okay, I'm going to say my thing. I think it's going to be like, okay, that's what I said. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> she realized the title sequence wasn't in English. And I was like, <laughs> is this going to be have subtitles? And then I was like, oh, maybe that's English. That could be English. Yeah. <laughs> Like, how oh, is it gonna be horrible? I forget what exactly I said, but I was not happy. <laughs> and it's funny because the first two words in the film are help, help, with subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> it's the English. 
English. Okay. It was English, but it's subtitled all the same. So I was, yeah, I was ticked off because it was subtitles. What I, my first thing was, right, it was okay. And the subtitles didn't bother me that much because I wanted to know what was going to happen. It wasn't a great movie, but there's some good parts in it. I just wish it didn't have subtitles. <laughs> like if it should have been in English the whole thing and I maybe would like to it. Yeah, uh, I didn't have, I don't, don't have problem with subtitles. Um, I, I actually, I, I actually quite enjoyed the film. I was quite surprised at how... <laughs> I was surprised I didn't hate it. <laughs> well, it <laughs> um, it's, it's weird. It's got, it's kind of got like multiple storylines going, um, all together, but you have the group of the, you know, the scouts, um, and they're all relationships and... Because there's so many of them, you you kind of dealing with all the different characters, and and that plays out, you know, through a good portion of the film um, until they essentially get involved with the you know bad stuff happening. Um, you get traps in the forest, so random people in the film are, are getting knocked off by these traps. You've got f feral boy who lives in the forest who's got his own little storyline going on and, and a rapport with, with the scouts. Um, and then you've got some guy who lives underground who um, is really not featured much through most of the film other than every once in a while he sort of pops up and gets a dead body or something like that. And you're just like, okay. So his story is really not, is not told. You don't really know who this guy is and and why he's there and what's going on. Neither, same with the feral guy, feral boy. Um, his story really isn't told. The, most of the story revolves around these scouts and the scout leaders and all that kind of stuff. That's where most of the storyline comes into play. And then eventually you, you hit your climax and and everything is, is up for grabs at that point. Um, but yeah, I thought, I thought uh, the... Well, this is this is one of the reasons why I like foreign films. You can't really tell if the acting's bad, even if it really is. Like if these people were in English and all this kind of stuff, I might be going, "Oh my god, this is this is the worst movie ever!" Because like it's so over the top in the acting, and I just can't feel for it. But when it's a foreign film, I don't know. They're speaking another language. I'm just. It it looked okay. It looked like they were acting really well. I, I'm guessing, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know if the inflection on the words is proper. I don't know if any of that kind of portion is, is, is really, you know, uh, bad or, or good. It, it just is what it is. Um, which is, I think, one of the reasons why a lot of people tend to, when they're watching foreign films like this, even if they're bad, they kind of give it a pass. Because it's like, it, it would have to be like really bad. Like the camera would have to be really, really bad. The editing would have to be really, really bad. Music and sound effects would have to be really, really bad. Like really low budgety. But this this come, comes across very slick, very professional. I like the music. The music had a very uh, goblin feel to it. Um, old school. Um, it wasn't overly gory. Um, the kills and the traps and stuff like that were kind of newish, weren't all, you know, like old, you know, something that you've seen before, which was nice, um, but yeah, I, I, I think what would have kicked this up a little bit would have been if, if the, the gore level was picked up, you know, um, considerably, because there's some, there's some good kills, but they don't really, and I, I think a portion of it has to do with budget. You know, if you don't show a, a body exploding, then you don't have to pay for a guy to make a body that explodes or or a head to get chopped off or anything like that, right? Still, what they had there was pretty creative. It like was, guys. it was, and like, it oh and, God, and it was what? pretty realistic, which was which was you know added to it, which I, I liked. Okay, um, you're not sitting there like, oh, <laughs> okay. You know, like 
not getting fluorescent red blood spewing out of something or anything like that. It, it all played to the realism uh, of what was going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm... I'm very, very happy that I finally got to see Cub, and that, you know what? I wasn't disappointed. I wasn't disappointed. I'd, I'd watch this again. I'd watch it again. Um, so I guess it's time for some ratings. I never know how to write these stupid things. <laughs> it's like, it actually drew me in, which I wasn't expecting, and I, like, I liked the kids, you know what I mean? Like, I, when it starts, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, they're, they're going camping, right? Mm -hmm. I can see this, yeah, okay, okay. So that surprised me. So I, I kind of need to, like, give it a little bit better than I initially thought because of that. If you get me invested, like, I didn't even pick up my phone for a while, so... See that that's another good thing about it being I in a hate, different that's language. What I hate, that's what I hate. She can't just not look at the screen because no. she can't understand what's being said. She yeah. has to read it. That's why I hate that. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you look down for a second, yeah. it's like, wait, wait, yeah. what just happened? What? Yeah. <laughs> a few times she asked, what did what, what did she say? I what did that person say? I kinda wanna get so we do it on five. Out of five, yep. Yeah. I kinda wanna give it three. Then subtitles. <laughs> but then, <laughs> and also, I really wish stuff was explained more. Like, yeah, I really wish it was explained more. Yeah, it really was a film of uh, it's just it just happens. So it's, you just gotta go, you with, just go it. with it. Mm -hmm. So I guess um, and also this is like number one, so it all hinges from this now. All the pressure. I'm, do we do like two and a half of that? <laughs> two and a half of half? Two and three quarters? Because <laughs> I, I, I liked most of it and okay, fine, I will say three then. Three, um, three, yeah. okay. Um, I'm going to say three and a half. Um, I thought it was solid. The film in terms of it, you know, it being made and the acting and all that kind of stuff, sound, music, all top notch. Um, the story is, is decent. Uh, my only real big problem is the ending and the fact that it just sort of is a, it just, this, it, it's just happening. There's really no explanation. No. Um, and I kind of would understand that if there was a Cub 2. Because in the sequel, they often yeah. do that ex explanation mm -hmm. of, you know, why things are the way they are, you know. Um, yeah, because I had a lot of questions. Yeah, there's a lot of questions that I would have uh, about this film that I would think the sequel would, um, you know, answer. But as far as I know, there's no sequel to this film, and I which is make a comment, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> which is surprising, <laughs> considering this film actually got a lot of buzz, a lot of buzz, which is why I wanted to see it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was expecting, like, more of a comedy-type mm. horror, right? No, it's not. But it's not. No. It's, this, is, this is a straight-up, dramatic-type horror-type film. I, yeah, that's at three and a half. I, I, would, I definitely recommend checking it out. It is, it is one of those films where, you know, you can... There, there's going to be problems with everything, but I think most people would... Uh, come out saying, you know, hey, that wasn't bad. Um, I, I I will admit that, you know, having been in the scouting program, I kind of had a little bit more of attachment. That's one of the reasons why I really wanted to see it. Um, I actually thought it was like an American film with, you know, Boy Scouts of America. So, yeah, when the, um, <laughs> the, the other languages came up, I was like, oh, yeah, I guess they do have scouts in other countries. <laughs> about that oh, all right whatever um so yeah um but i you know so i related to that aspect of the film um so yeah i i thoroughly enjoyed it we're getting a three and a three and a half 
And I'd say that's a recommend from us for our first film, which means it's only downhill from here. More 31 Days of Horror coming up. We got at least 31 movies to watch. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do it. This could be hard because I'm not going. There's no festival thing. There's no that's festival. Where you see a lot of them. So. Got to deal with baby. <laughs> yeah. But we will try and involve James whenever we can. He will be picking movies. Oh. And so far he's doing. Well, unlike last year, mister. <laughs> He's like, hey, man, I can only pick from what I'm given. <laughs> it's true. I gave, see, the, the process works like this. I pick up a stack of movies. I hand them to Leslie. Leslie picks out some selections and gives them to James. James then picks the movie we're watching. Because basically I don't want to watch any of them. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> like, yeah. so it's like, fine, this is the best pick. So there you go. Uh. Oh. Well, Isn't that funny? <laughs> we'll see what comes up next time. Thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do that at the screen. Screen. Yeah, you gotta do that bigger. Nobody sees it if we're to come over here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm busy on the phone. <laughs>